Hey everybody, hello! How are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? How was your day? Okay, for those of you in Florida, I hope that if you were told to evacuate, I hope you got the H-E-L-L -L out. Please be safe in Florida. It's making me nervous watching this um, Hurricane Milton. What kind of a name is Hurricane Milton? Anyway, watching Hurricane Milton on the news. And um, yeah, I, I got high anxiety watching that. And I don't live anywhere near Florida. But please be careful and be safe. And also still thinking of all of you who are affected by Hurricane, what was that one? Helene? Helene Milton? What will the next one be called? Anyway, I don't know. I um, am here today with some Timu packages. I don't, they are local warehouse packages, but I also have, we like to support local or small businesses on this channel. So I've got an Etsy artist here called Lavender Hope. And I thought I would open and tell you about Lavender Hope and we'll open this up and it's a great gift idea. Lavender Hope makes gift boxes and as you'll see, they are extraordinary. They are themed gift boxes. And I'm going to open mine. I'm sitting here Indian style on my bed. And it's what am I wearing today? I'm wearing this Halloween sweater and the matching earrings that match it perfectly. The same cat, same cat, same cat's face. And that's what I'm wearing today. I got the Catherine's Collection mermaid skeleton back there because she was expensive. We got to do something with her. And, you know, we got good old Frankenstein and Grumpy Grandpa's in the back serving drinks. If you don't know who Grumpy Grandpa is, he is on the channel Nona's here. And you can find the, if you haven't checked out the channel, Nona's, the channel, the channa. If you haven't checked out the channa, Nona's here. The link to her channel is in my description. And she and Grumpy Grandpa are a hilarious pair. And Grumpy Grandpa found out I was a fan of his. So he sent me an autographed picture. Now you can't really see it because my pillow's in the way. But I think it says the bar is open. I wish I had a drink. Every time I look at that, every time I look at that picture, I think I wish I had a drink. Pina Colada, Buzz Bowl. I have some downstairs. Why don't I just fix one and drink it while I'm doing this? I would be so much more relaxed and we would all have a good time instead of being all stressy from getting out of work. Okay, hold on. I'm opening this. Let me open it as slowly as I possibly can. Okay, so when you order a Lavender Hope box... Oh, and they threw this in here for me as a little gift. But they do sell these on their Etsy shop. And I think they also sell on... Do they sell on Facebook too? Hold on a minute. Here is the link to our Facebook page. Okay. I will put the link to their... Facebook page in their Etsy and their Etsy shop in my description and I'll pin it below. So here's the box, Lavender Hope, and they sent me a little, let me see, I think it's a little glow in the dark snowman. Is it glow in the dark or did I just dream that? Blob. Okay, hold on. I can't read that. Put your glasses on. Let's just sit here in silence for a minute. Okay, I don't know. Hold on, let me open it and then we'll talk about it. Why don't I open it first? That's a great idea. 
So what did I do today at lunch? I went way up north. Oh my gosh, to the TJ Maxx that's way, way, way up north. And it disappointed me. And then I went to Marshall's, Marshall's, Marshall's up there. And I went to the Home Goods up there. And I got some great stuff. It's in my car. I'm going to bring it in tomorrow. And they, yeah, this is a little, they gave me this little gift. Everything they make is handmade. And 3D printed and handmade or hand, yeah, and or. And can I turn his little head? Yeah. Okay, turn his head so he matches up with the thing. So I think he glows in the dark, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe I dream that. I don't know, but he's a really cute little snowman. They do sell these in their store. Okay, let's open. I'll, you're going to see how extraordinary this box is because they did send me a list and an explanation of everything inside of it. And this is the, this theme is the Charmed Alice box, I think. Hold on. Enchanted Alice box. Okay, so they sent me the Enchanted Alice box and they have different themes of boxes on their page. But let me get this open with my soothing lavender scissors. How appropriate is that? And I don't know. I'm moving a little slowly. I'm a little bit tired. But aren't we all? We're all tired, right? Like we're just all tired. Maybe not. I don't remember what it... <laughs> I don't remember what it feels like to not be tired. That's really sad. I take a lot of vitamins and I take my thyroid medication and I do everything everybody tells me to do. I guess I could exercise more, but the dog and I get exercise. So I don't know. I don't know the secret to not being tired. Okay, so we open up the Lavender Hope box and looks like this so far. And let's look at the little card inside. It says, and it's Andrea is the name of the owner and it's Enchanted Items and it's Enchanted Alice. And it's got a list of the items that are included. So we'll go through those. And then it has a little list of ingredients in case in each of the things so some of these things are made they're all handmade so here are the ingredients to some of those in case you have allergies or you just want to know so well, let me put these right here i'm going to need this card in a minute so i can tell you what what all is what okay we've got and for those of you who just want to see the Timu stuff, I will pin the timestamp to the Timu stuff in my comments below. Okay, we got this, these squiggly things and it looks like this. It smells good in here. Okay, let's open it up. Where do I even begin? I'm just going to start taking stuff out of here. Okay, the first thing I am taking out of here is a little... Oh, teacup with, hold on a minute. Everything is so perfectly wrapped. This is a bath, I think these are bath salt. Okay, let's look and see. Okay, here's the little teacup. Okay, let's see what it says. It says... Uh oh, I hear a Luna teacup bath bomb, cherry blossom scented. You can lift it out of the cup and you can choose which scent you want. If you order a, one of their boxes, you can choose your scents and you can choose your, you get to choose your scent. This is handmade and yeah. Okay. 
It says you're also able to choose the scent of your soap. There's soap in here and bath bombs for each box. And they have been on Etsy. They just, they moved over to Etsy last year, but they've been around since June, 2024. Let me get the plastic off this and let's check it out. We're going to be here all night. <laughs> Hurry up. Okay, it says you can lift it out of here, but I'm afraid. Oh, look. You can lift it out by the little stem. And it's a cute little plastic teacup. Mmm, it smells good. All right, cherry blossom scented bath bomb. Okay, let's put that there. Okay, the next thing in here is a Cheshire cat fidget. He is 3D printed and hand painted. And Andrea and her husband do all of these things. They make everything in these boxes. So, wow, I love, I love 3D printed things. Here comes the Luna. There goes the Luna. Here's the Cheshire Cat. This is an Alice in Wonderland theme. And he's got beautiful stripes on the back. And he's fabulous. I'm taking him to work. I'm putting him on my desk. Just try to stop me, corporate world. I'm joking. I did take some things off my desk. And now I want to put some things on my desk. Okay, the next thing in here is a little, let's take this out. This is Alice. Is it Alice? And she's a soap. Alice Trinket, no, that's not it. Diamond, no, that's not it. Pen, let's open it and see. Before I just randomly read the list and try to figure out what everything is. I think this is soap. Soap, I think. I think this is Alice Soap. Teacup bath bomb diamond key desk decoration. And the rest of the items are pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, this is Soap. And she is scented. I don't know what she scented here. Where's my little card? I'm doing a great job. Alice themed soap and she is jasmine scented. Mmm. And she is handmade, hand poured. And there she is. I put her here. Is she going to slide? Why don't you slide? Okay, well, I can always tell when this little table is slanted because things start sliding. Okay, so we got that. Where's my garbage bag? It's on the floor far, far away. Hold on. Let me see if I can reach it. Oh my gosh, I can reach it. There are miracles. Miracles still happen. Okay, put that in there. I don't want the cats to eat any of this stuff. Put that plastic in there because you know Loki... He'll get this stuff and chow down on it and then choke. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Here is some a rabbit soap and it is scented like, where's my list? Where's my list? White rabbit soap with clock lemongrass scented. And, and in plastic, too. And it's like, I kind of don't want to take the plastic. I want to smell it, but I don't want to take the plastic off because where are my soothing lavender scissors? Soothing lavender scissors. Uh-oh, these little spaghetti things are getting all over me. These little spaghetti noodles. 
I went to that TJ Maxx way up north today and I was talking to the lady who was putting stuff on the shelves and I'm like, I'm looking for that plush, big plush Hello Kitty with the Christmas tree dress and she goes, oh honey, if you want Hello Kitty, you got to get here when the store opens because there's a line. And I was like, are you kidding me? These shopping vultures? Shopping vultures. At least I wait until my lunch hour. I'm not standing there every morning when the store opens with my face pressed up against it. But maybe I should. I wonder what my boss would think of that if I told her, hey, I got to run over to TJ Maxx. Press my face against the door and try to get in there and get some he some Christmas Hello Kitty. Anyway, here's, smells good. Here is the lemongrass scented soap that is the White Rabbit. And he's got a little clock watch around his neck. And very cute. Okay, put him over here with Alice. And we're still going, we're still going. But now I can throw some things away which will help me a lot. And the reason why I'm stretching is because I've got a stack of boxes next to me that we still have to open. Okay, the next thing in here is, for some reason, I thought there was supposed to be a little backpack in here. Okay, well, this is a little um, eat and drink me, you know, drink me, and this is a little trinket box, so let me see. It says Alice themed trinket pen holder, right? Eat, no, it just says eat me, drink me set. Okay, just bear with me because I've never opened this before. And it's chocolate, I think. Or not, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just for looks. Okay, here's a little box. Oh, cute. Okay, here's a cute little box. Ooh, and then that says eat me. Is it something I can really eat? I'm looking at both the email and the list. I'm going to open it and see. And if it's chocolate, I'm going to eat it. I'm starving. How are my teeth? I just had an everything bagel, actually, so I shouldn't be starving. Now I got the seeds in between my teeth. Okay, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any, like, big black seeds in between my teeth. Let's see if this is really... Oh, it really is chocolate. Okay, it's real, it's real chocolate. I'm not going to eat. This isn't a mukbang. Okay, let me put it back in its little box cute and then here's the little bottle that is also oh it's one of those little bottle candy things you, you guys know the soda pop candy with this wax and you pop the top off and drink the syrup inside that's what the drink me is okay cool that's cool eat me and drink me okay we're doing good with the alice in wonderland theme Okay, I am going to, and it comes in this cute little container right here that I am actually going to, just because it's full of these spaghetti noodle things, I'm going to I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. All right, next thing in this box is... So you get a lot for your money, and I think that these are, I'm about to go over to the Etsy store and look at the price. I have a discount code, it's it's Erin10, E-R-I-N-N-10, -N and it will get you 10% off through November 20th. So I'll put that in my description below. Okay, we've got an Alice. You get so much in these boxes, you guys. It's not even funny. Oh, I see. There's a little... Okay, let me just do this. It looks like... I'm, it looks like I had a party in here. 
It looks like I had a party and nobody stayed to help me clean up. Okay. The next thing in here is really awesome. It is a, an Alice. I saw this on the website. Oh, do I have this stuck on here too? Okay. It is, what is this, 20 minutes? Oh, cute. It's hand-painted, handmade. It's an Alice pen holder. Here's my lip gloss. Let me, like, put your pens in here and stuff. She's cute, holding a cat. And Alice trinket pen holder. She's made of resin. Um... Crete and hand painted. Cool. All right. I think put her right there. What are my lips doing? Okay, I have lip gloss there just to keep them moist. I know everybody hates that word. Okay, there's also a resin. This is a Diamond with key desk decoration made of resin. Four different key designs that we randomly select from. So, oh, that's really cool. It's a diamond and it's got a little key in it. So, so far we're doing good with the Alice in Wonderland theme. And then you lift all this stuff out and there is a little backpack in here. Here it is. It's really cute. And then you get a little backpack with little, it's got a little rabbit charm on it. And very cute. It snaps open. It's a cute little heart. This is also handmade. Checkered backpack. Three different charms that we randomly select from but they are all rabbits. Okay. And she said, all of our items are either handmade or hand designed. You are able to choose the scent of your soap and bath bomb for each box. And even the color of certain items is customizable. So that's really cool. So that's everything that comes in the Enchanted Alice box. As you see, it's got a lot of cute things in there. In fact, I'm going to put some of this stuff in this little backpack right now so the little munchkins cannot get them. I don't know if that one will fit. Put my little... Okay. All right. So, very cute. And I will get on their website right now and I will tell you how much this costs. And I will tell you what other theme boxes. I think they have a fairy theme box. And they can also customize a box. So if you want to mix like a fairy. If you want to mix like a fairy theme and an Alice in Wonderland theme. Or one of their other themes with another theme. And you want just like a mix of stuff. You can message her and let her know. And she will work with you to pick a custom box. But... It's cool with the holidays coming up. Okay. Thank you for bearing with me as I'm just moving like a, like a little old lady. Okay. So we have Snowman Ornament Glow in the Dark. $7.99. And that's what I just showed you. Stop it. I don't want the app. Then let me put my glasses on. Oh, cool. They have customized fairy wall decor, customized mermaid light. Okay, so there's um, moon and stars. Okay, there's a mermaid gift box for $48.99. Did you hear that? $48.99 free shipping. There's a fairy gift box, $42.99, and shipping is free. And here is kind of a picture of that. 
Oh, cute, cute, cute. So cute. Okay, what happened? How do I get out of here? Then there is Customize Alice in Wonderland 4464. Then there is a Moon and Stars gift box, which looks like this for $47.99. And the Mermaid gift box. And then you can also buy different things separately. And Andrea is very talented. She started Lavender Hope because it brings her joy creating gift boxes for her family and friends. So she figured, why not share it with the whole world? And she did. And so if you use my code E, and I don't get any commission or anything like that, but if you use my code ERINN10, E R I N N one zero, you get ten percent off. So that's pretty good. That's like four dollars and twenty nine cents, for instance, off the fairy gift box. So I will link to all that stuff in my description below. And I want to thank Andrea for sending me a box and yeah, letting me show you guys. I think it's great. I think it's a great gift idea, and I would love to get one for one of my nieces. Well, shoot, I keep forgetting that my one niece is like 17 years old or something. 18? I don't know. She grew up so quickly. Okay, let's open some boxes. This is Timu local warehouse stuff. What time is it? 26.46? So I have to remember 2646 to pin in my comments below for everybody who wants to go straight to the Timu. Straight to the Timu. There is, oh, I can't tell you. It's a surprise. There's a surprise in my car. I can't bring it in. I can't bring it in until tomorrow. Because my mom will be gone tomorrow during the day. And I can come home at lunch and eat a sandwich. What a concept. And then I can bring in some stuff. And then I'm done, you guys. I'm sick of shopping. It's doing something bad to my soul. It's making me soul sick. I don't want to shop anymore. I like to look at stuff. I don't want to acquire things anymore. Yeah, I'm pulling up my Timu orders so we can see how much all this stuff cost. All right, here's this. And I paid $12.86. And I saw it at Walmart for $36. So it was um, a local warehouse purchase. Oh, did I forget batteries? Of course I forgot batteries. Because I... Oh, it doesn't use batteries. Okay, it's a... Woo! Okay, it's a ghost... It's a prismatic, iridescent, spooky ghost. Now, if I, I can plug it into this power bank right here, but if I move the power bank, the fill light is going to go off, but it's okay. I can fix it. It's just going to get dark for a minute. Hold on. I just want to throw away the box. Get the box out of my light. Okay. Where is the power? Where is the thing to carefully reach under here and find it? Wait, I don't know where the power bank is. Where is the power bank? I found it. Okay, be, move it very carefully. Okay, I'm moving it very carefully. Okay. We're going to take this ghost... Let me undo this little twisty thing. 
Man, I saw the governor of Florida or the mayor of some town. Was it the mayor of Tampa? Or somebody who said, if you do not evacuate, write your name and the name of your closest relative or whatever on your body. So if we find you, we'll know who, to, who you are and who to contact. And that just gave me the chills. Wow. Look at that. That's fantastic, man. That is so cool. Now, the thing about Halloween decorations this year is they are all USB powered. And like, how in the world are we going to light them all up and have them in different parts of the house and stuff? But she's... It's a ghost. All right, it's really cool. It's very light, you guys. It's very fragile. I'm impressed that it's in one piece and that's fantastic. I love this little Cheshire cat. This is awesome. I'm gonna be taking that everywhere. It's my new little friend. My new little friend. Man, I have an itchy throat. Oh, there was a heart necklace in there. Uh-oh. I'm such a bad, um, I'm just bad. I'm bad at reviewing things. Let me get, oh no, I told you that was going to happen. Never mind, I'll fix it in a minute. Let me get this box back out and look for the heart necklace that was in there. The Lavender Hope. Let's go back to Lavender Hope for a minute. It's soothing in the dark. Shoot, I don't see a hard necklace. But it might have fallen out with all of the stuff. Okay, I will look for the heart necklace after this video. And I apologize sincerely to Andrea for losing it. It was so small and I just lost it like an idiot. And then there goes the hello sign. Let's just stop this video and all go to let's just all go to bed. Not together, but you know, in our respective beds. I'll show you what the heart necklace looks like. Oh no. The hello sign is looking a little rough these days. Stop it. How long will it stay? Okay, we got that. Now we got to get this back on. <sighs> Put on a happy face. Wow, you know it looks creepy in the dark? That Catherine's collection skeleton. Okay, well, you do get a necklace in your box, and it's a handmade necklace, and I am a loser for accidentally chucking it in the garbage. But I will get it out of the garbage. And I will show you what it looks like right now. It's a video. That's a video. It should be in a little box. 
I don't know how I could have missed it. It's bouncing, it's bouncing like this. I'll find it. I won't throw any more garbage in that bag. All right. Let's get back to Timu. See, that's a really good deal. For $40, you get all that handmade stuff, and it's a really unique gift. And then you get this cute little backpack to put it all in. That is charming. I think it's one of my favorite things that I've reviewed on this channel. Okay, the next thing is this. So what anyway, that thing was 1286, that prismatic ghost, and it is now 1551. But it's still cheaper than it is on Walmart.com. So there's that. Okay, get back to my orders. And then now I gotta find my scissors all over again. Here they are. What are we at, 36 minutes? I'm moving like a turtle, like a snail, like a sloth. Okay, this is a t-shirt and I have been waiting for it. I'm going to wear it on casual day. It is a Frankenstein t-shirt, and I got it. <sighs> eh. I got it in a 3XL, so I will not be wearing it on casual day. <laughs> well, it's 100% cotton, and it looks rather small-ish to me. But it's Frankenstein. And it says, Happy Halloween. And you know why I got it this big? Because I don't trust it and it's going to shrink. So I'm going to wash it and it's going to shrink. And it's I like the simple, smiley design. And I'm excited about that. Hello is, is getting on my last nerve. Can I hook it on this? Hook it on this hook. Now don't move, don't fall. It's gonna fall again. It is just do a shot every time the hello sign fall. Like that. I can't. Can I just make one normal video? Just one. Just one normal haul video like everybody else that looks like a normal haul video that doesn't have all kinds of God knows what happening in the background. We haven't seen the cats yet, knock on wood. Okay. All right. A little bit grumpy. Okay, that Frankenstein t-shirt. Cost. Put this right here. Any minute now, he's going to come in like a wrecking ball. Well, I had to pay shipping. It was ten twenty five plus shipping, and it is now eleven o four. And it's a man's t shirt, but that didn't stop me. I love to shop. Okay, so the next thing is probably another t shirt. I'm guessing because all I really buy from local warehouses are t-shirts. Well, no, I just bought that ghost. Well, no, I take that back. That's, that, that was wrong. But most of the things I buy from local warehouses, is the hello sign going to fall, are t-shirts. Because they have good t-shirts. Okay, this is a really cool t-shirt. I got it in a 2XL because it is 100% cotton. And it says true crime and... Uh, what? And chill. It says true crime and chill. And it's got, you know, 
there's a black cat down there and some bats and she's looking all vampy and she's sitting in her little eating popcorn and true crime and chill. It's really cute. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite t-shirts. Okay, put it right there. True Crime and Chill, that t-shirt, I'll link to all of these so you too can own some fabulous t-shirts. Let me find it. People waiting outside TJ Maxx in the morning just for the Hello Kitty stuff. Grown women and men. $9.94 is what I paid for it, and it is now, quit it, it's now $9.94, and here's the model living her best life in it. I'm going to wear that cat dress again tomorrow, except I'm going to wear it in the medium, and see, well, I'm going to try to wear it in the medium. Okay, this is... I don't know why I just decided to tell you guys that. Let me just randomly tell you guys what I'm wearing to work tomorrow. Well, I have a meeting. <laughs> All right, this is another local warehouse purchase, and it is not a t-shirt. It is, in fact, a purse. Because y'all know I got a little purse problem. But it is a dupe of, uh, is it Kurt Geiger? Is that it? Kurt Geiger? Or am I just making that up? I could be just making that name up randomly, but it comes very nicely wrapped in a nice dust bag. And... It is, it's got the little bird on it, I know. Ooh, and they even covered it up to protect it. That was nice of them. It's got like a dent. Oh my gosh. It says Kurt Geiger London right there. Oh snap. Now you guys, man, I swear when you order from the local warehouses, when you order dupes, you get dupes. I mean, you get replicas. Because I was not expecting this. Wow. And it's fabulous. It's a cute little, and it's got two snaps, which is better than one snap. Get the paper out. Does it have a strap? Okay, yeah. It's got a chain, long chain. Okay, it's got a long chain. Okay, I don't understand what's going on in here. I don't know. So you can make this long. Like this. I keep making that noise with my throat because my throat is itching. And look at it. It's got the sparkly bird with the pendants. And it's got the crooked... Kurt Geiger London label on the back and the inside is just um there's like a slip pocket in here and that's about it it's very small you can't fit a lot in it but the inside is also like this Smooth operator, the smooth operator stuff, and wow, I wonder if this has been discontinued. If you see a designer dupe from a local warehouse on Timu, snag it because they don't play. Fashion, niche, light, luxury, women. I paid $30.59 for it. Sold out. That's all right. They've got more, you guys. They've got... um. Ooh. Wow, 
wow, this bag is cool. That bag is cool. We should all shop together sometime. I could do the picture in picture thing on my computer. Okay, look, they've got one of these. Here's one, they've got a black one. And it is $11.79, shut up, it's $11.79. There's the bird, wait a minute. That's not a bird. Oh well, it's still, and that's not from a local warehouse. Anyway, you get my drift. If you see something from a local warehouse and it is a dupe, grab it and run. Here's a cool saddle bag. What does that say on it? Ooh, I can't tell, but I mean, this is from a local warehouse and it's a really beautiful bag for $11.98, 86 cents. I take that back. Here, let me see if I can read the writing, the khaki. It says, I still can't read that. The strap is kind of stupid though. I don't know. Okay. That was cool. That was exciting. I just got lost in a little like, what other dupes can we find from local warehouses? All right. The next thing is, I don't know what this is. I know I have way too many purses and not enough time. Prop this thing up so we can see her eyes so she doesn't have just black holes. Oh, does she light up? No, she just sits there and says, I'm $150. Okay, there, she's much better. Okay, this is two row pillows. Thank the Lord, thank the good Lord, because I have so many throw pillow covers. I don't even know what to do with myself. Every time I post a video, I lose subscribers. You know why? Because I can't just sit here like a normal person and do a normal haul, a normal professional haul. Now, I did get contacted by Shein today, and I'm going to, they wanted me to model some of their clothes. So, I picked five outfits. So, one way or another, we're going to have to figure out how to make that work. So, there's that. And I'm going to pay attention this time and not lose them if they, when they send them one at a time. And I got contacted by Fab Fit Fun to do their winter box. So those, that's exciting. Sometimes I get a little down because I don't get any sponsorships anymore from, or any, I, I mean, I hear from Gono, which is my favorite, and also Otter Spirit, which is my favorite. But, um, Besides those two, like, I don't hear from companies anymore, and I don't blame them, because this channel is just chaos, and it makes me sad. Like, I really need to get a little more professional so I can get some sponsors. Sponsors! But then I heard from FabFitFun, which means the world to me. This is vacuum sealed, so let's listen for the whoosh. And, you know, I heard from Shein... Maybe I heard from AliExpress, but I don't think so because they wanted my Google login. <gasps> Look at it expand. Because they wanted my Google login and password. So I'm thinking, no. Now, wait a minute. These are really lame. <laughs> These are like the lamest hotel, motel six pillows. You could look at it, you guys. These are sort of like college dorm 
These are like, I don't even know how to describe these, but it's fine because they're going to be in cases anyway, but they look a little big. Like maybe I ordered like a big size on accident. Under penalty of law, this tag is not to be removed. Okay, well, there are two of them, and they are gross. And I'm glad that um, I'm going to put something on them right away. If anything will fit. They look too big for the pillowcases I've been ordering, though. You would think I would have one around here. I think I see one. Can I reach it? No. There's another one. Can I reach that? No. Why can't I just have slightly longer arms? Slightly longer arms. Oh, well, one way or another, we'll cram those in there. Okay, so pillows. I don't know what I paid for those pillows, you guys. I got those a long time ago. I ordered those a long time ago. So, I don't... Um, oops. I'm lost. It was a set of two and... I was it from a local warehouse if so I'm really disappointed and that local warehouse gets an F for fail oh well I don't know you guys know that you can find throw pillows on Timu if you just search for them and um Meanwhile, maybe I ordered those back in April or something. I don't know. Okay, I give up. I tried. Okay, there, is, there are two boxes left. This box actually is a Poshmark order. And it is from... Wait a minute. It is from Pretty and Flawed. It is from her Poshmark closet. And... I like to watch her live when she posts stuff. Whoa, yeah. It is Wild Fox. It's a purse. It's a tote bag. And I've been looking all over for it. All over for it. She put stickers all over that box. I kind of need to use it again. She always puts her stuff in big Ziploc bags. So I've been looking for this and I haven't been able to find it and I don't, oh, she put some socks in here. Aww. Cute. From, oh, they're really cute. They're dots from Hot Dots. That was nice of her. Okay, so this was $29.99 at TJ Maxx, and I don't know what I paid for it. Probably $10 more than that, or I don't know. It is a bag with orange bag with pink lips, and I'm ex I love Wild Fox. I'm excited about it. It's a puffy bag, and the inside is... Man, I have a lot of paper in my life. The inside is really cool. It's got pink piping and pink hardware. Which is in a little, you can put your keys on here. And this is cool and it says Wild Fox on it. And yay. Can you have enough purses? No, you cannot. Now, the last thing is this Walmart.com box, which means someone drop shipped. I got it from a local warehouse on Timu, and they obviously just drop shipped it from Walmart.com. So, there's that. And... 
Is it another cookie jar? Yes. No. It's really cute, and I'm excited about it. And yes, we are putting it down on the kitchen counter. It is very fragile. I don't, please let it be in one piece. I don't know if these things survived. Throw this this way. Ugh. All right, now we gotta open this. Open the, oh man. Open this end. It's a little tricky. It's a little touchy. It's a little temperamental. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? Put the thing down where it's going to be and now turn it on. You move that thing and it turns off. It's time for me to get a new fill light, which I actually have a new fill light. But I'm trying to use this like to the max, to the max before I open up another fill light. I don't know how many fill lights I've been through, but I know last year I used three because I wrote them down as tax deductions, fill lights, backlights. I added up all my neon signs from last year, every one that I bought. And well, I don't, I don't know because I did a search for neon on Timu and then just did added up all the 2023 ones that came up in the search. It was something like $400 worth of neon signs, but I put that down as a tax dedu deduction. Is my gingerbread cracked? No. Okay, here. This is so awesome and so cute, and I'm so excited about it. And it is packaged really well. What a refreshing change. Okay, hold on. Maybe I spoke too soon. Wow, this is just chaos everywhere. Okay, let me unroll it. Oh my gosh. They are gingerbread mugs. They are really cute. You can get them at Walmart. For like, I don't know, six bucks. Or you can get them on Timu. And they are all linked together, which is good. I can't believe they're not broken or anything. Wow. Okay, so ooh, just be careful. So they've got little green doors and trees and doors and trees and red. I love the candy cane handles. Really cute cheese. I haven't cheesed with anything. Cheese. Okay, and let's see what those cost. I think that was my last, that was my last box, you guys, at 58 minutes and 27 seconds. Uh oh, who's texting me? My mom. I'm going to bed. Felt bad all day. Okay, to oh no, I gotta take out the garbage. My brother bailed on taking out the garbage tonight, so I gotta lug it up to the curb. Whoa, the hell is me. But the dog likes it. She has a fun time when we go up there. Okay, I'm going to find these. Here they are. I paid $18.89 for these. Less than $20. And they're still $18.89 on Timu. Or you can get them probably on Walmart.com for 6 bucks or something. I don't know. Um, okay, I better pull my... I better get ready to take out all this garbage. I better clean all this stuff up. And I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me, the, the creepy mermaid, 
Frankenstein and all my other Halloween friends. And thanks for putting up with my hello sign and my blackouts. Please be safe. And I will see you tomorrow because I have a Timu order coming in tomorrow. I thought it was coming in today, but I was wrong. So I'll see you tomorrow. And until then, have a nice evening or morning or afternoon, whatever it is when you're watching this. And don't forget to check out Lavender Hope on Etsy. And now I say, how do we stop this thing? How do I stop this thing?